Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to align and evenly distribute shapes, charts, and slicers in Excel. So in this example here, I have some slicers on a sheet, and this is the typical layout when we insert multiple slicers on a sheet. They come out in this cascading layout here, and that means we always have to take extra steps to either align them horizontally on our sheet, like they're laid out here, uh, with an even width between each shape, or laid out vertically like this over here. Again, we have an even width between each shape and they're laid out vertically on the sheet. So in this video, I'm going to explain two ways to accomplish this. The first will be a bit of a manual approach here using some of the built-in features on the align dropdown uh, within Excel. There's some features here we can use to align these and also distribute them horizontally or vertically. And then I'm also going to share a few macros that I created that make this process much faster and easier. I've added these macros to a custom ribbon up here and I can just click a button here to align them all vertically with even space between each shape, or I can click a button to align them horizontally. Same thing, we have an even space between each shape here. And these techniques will work on any type of shape, which could be a slicer, a chart, an image, any type of shape that uh, sits on top of the worksheet in Excel. In the next video, I will also explain another set of macros that will allow us to create a grid of shapes that looks like this. So this is considered a panel chart where we have more of a grid of multiple rows or columns of shapes. And I'll explain that macro that creates this for us with the click of a button in a future video. So definitely check that one out as well. So let's first take a look at some of those alignment tools and more of a manual approach to doing this. So I have a uh, pivot table here. I'm just going to go to the insert tab and quickly insert some slicers, which again will be shapes on our sheet. We'll insert that region slicer, months, quarters, and years, and click OK. And they're always laid out in this cascading style, which again means we need to take extra steps to make these visible and usable. So the first thing we can do here is when we have just one of these shapes selected, we can hit Control A on the keyboard to select all of our shapes. That's just a quick shortcut to select the shapes. Uh, alternatively, you could hold down the Control key and then select each shape individually. Once we have all of the shapes selected, uh, we can then go to the options tab here. Since we're working with slicers, this says options. If we were working with charts or shapes, this would say format. And then on any, either of those tabs, we'll go to the align button here. And this is a drop down with a lot of different features here. The first thing we're going to do is align these all to the top. So it's going to align all of our selected shapes to the top. So we'll click that and that's based on the highest shape on the sheet. So that would have been that region shape there. So they're now all aligned to the top perfectly uh, to that first region shape. Now, the next thing we need to do is create some space between these because obviously they're still overlapped. So I'm just going to click off of the shapes into a cell here, and then I'm going to select the shape to the furthest right, which in this case is the years slicer, and then we'll move it out to the right. And if you hold down the shift key while you move it to the right, it will stay aligned to the top of the other shapes. And then we just need to guess how far out we need this to be uh, in order to fit all of our other shapes between this shape and the shape furthest to the left. So again, we're gonna hit Control A on the keyboard to select all of our shapes. We'll then go to the Options tab, Align, and we have a Distribute Horizontally option here, which will distribute all of our shapes. So I'm gonna click that. That distributes all of our shapes and creates an equal width between each shape. Now you can kind of see that they're still overlapped a bit here. I didn't move the year slicer far enough out to the right. So this is where some trial and error comes in and some guesswork and we'll have to select our year slicer. Again, hold the shift key and move it out to the right a bit. And then we'll hit control A again, go align, distribute horizontally and that will move our shapes out and distribute, distribute them and hopefully we'll have a nice even gap width between each shape. Now if it's too much of a width, you have to move the year slicer back to the left and repeat that process. Now we can also use these same alignment tools to create a vertical alignment as well. It's really the same process. We just select all shapes, go align, then either choose left or align center or align right, depending on what your shapes look like. We'll choose align left. 
Then again, we'll click off that. We'll move our last slicer shape down, which would be the year slicer. You can hold the shift key to keep the alignment. We wanna move it way down on the sheet. Control A to select all. And then again, align, uh, distribute vertically. So again, we'd have to do that same trial and error there because these are obviously overlapping. We need to move the year slicer farther down and then distribute them vertically again. So I've created a set of macros that makes this process much faster and easier. So on this sheet here, I have the same set of slicers and we'll take a look at how to run these macros to align the shapes vertically or horizontally. Uh, before we do that, I'll just jump into the VB editor and show you the macro code. So we'll go up to the developer tab here, click the visual basic button, that'll open the VB editor. And we have this auto sh space shapes uh, workbook and I'll make this available for free download and put a link to that in the video below the description. And this workbook here contains the macro code in this auto space module. So right here within this uh, module, we have the auto space shapes vertical macro and below it, we have one that lays them out horizontally. And I'll create another video that walks through this code uh, step by step and really dive into the code and explain it more. So I won't explain it in this video, but I'll have a follow-up video that does that. But here's the macro here. And really all we have to do is select, first select the shapes on the sheet uh, that we wanna run the code on and then just run the macro. So we'll jump back over to Excel. Again, here's our slicer. So I'm gonna select this first one, hit Control A on the keyboard to select all of those. And now another thing I've done is I've added the macros to my personal macro workbook and I've created a custom ribbon here and added some custom macro buttons that will call or run those macros. And I have a whole nother video series that explains this step-by-step, -step, including how to create your personal macro workbook and create these custom ribbons with buttons up here. I will also put a link to that below this video. So again, once we have our shapes selected, all we have to do is come up here and click one of these buttons and that will automatically lay these out vertically and also create an even gap width between each shape. And this width is actually specified in the code itself. So if we jump back to the VB editor here, uh, we can see right here is where we specify that gap width. The number is in points, so this is eight points between each shape. You could change this to zero if you didn't want any overlap between your shapes, or you can change it to a larger number if you wanted more of a gap between each shape. So we'll just jump back to Excel. And then again, we also have another one, if I go back to my macros, that lays another macro that lays them out horizontally. So we'll click that and we can see right here, we now have our shapes evenly distributed and laid out horizontally. And once you set this up in your personal macro workbook, this, uh, these macros or these buttons will work on any workbook you have open and it also works with any type of shape, not just slicers. It'll work with charts, shapes, images, any shape that you have on the sheet, uh, these macros will work with that. And then another side benefit of this macro is that we can also reorder the slicers or the shapes that we have on the sheet. So if you wanted this laid out in years, uh, quarters, months, instead of months, quarters, years, or something like that, uh, it all just depends on what order you select the shapes in. So we'll just click off of the shapes here. We might want our region slicer on the left side, so we'll click that one first. Then I'll hold the control key and select the year slicer then quarters, then months, and then I'll go up here and rerun the macro. We'll do a horizontal layout, just click that button, and you can see they're now in the order that I selected them, selected them in from left to right. So we have region, years, quarters, months. So another nice little feature of this macro here to quickly reorder your slicers, depending on how often your users might use a certain slicer, or maybe your boss just asks you to, to rearrange these, uh, becomes very easy when you use these macros. And that same ordering process works uh, with the vertical macro as well. So I hope that helps you. Like I said, I'll have another video where we walk through the macro code in a lot more detail and you can learn more about it. And then I'll also have a third video on a set of macros that will create this grid for these panel charts or again, any type of shape that you wanna uh, format in a grid or layout in a grid with a number of columns or rows. 
and the file that contains the macro will again be available for free download at excelcampus.com. I'll put a link to that below this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.